All right, let's start with the most simplest instruction. So let's open our program blocks and then OB1. And then let's start with our basic instructions. So let's do a normally open contact and then just a normal coil. And let's define those. So we're just going to say start, type that in. And then this would be, let's say, motor. And then we want to define those. So if you right click on it, you can press define tag. And it's going to be a input. So global input. So then you could define it to which bit you want it to be. So I'm just going to choose I0.0, .0, press define. And now on our motor coil, we'll press, we'll right click and then press define tag. Then global output, which is Q0.0, .0. define. Let's download. Load. And since I don't have anything to wire up to my input, I'm going to open up a force table. So under watches and force tables, double click on force table. And I'm going to float this so we can see the logic going on. So let's press this and then press the glasses. This is online. Go to the force table that we're floating right now. Type in I0.0 .0, and then Q0.0. .0. And we are going to force the value to a 1 or true. And then you just press force. Are you sure you want to force now? Yeah. And this input is high, which then turns on our output. So if we go to another watch table, Q0.0, .0, which is motor, should be on right now, which that is true. So now if we unforce it, that should turn off. All right, that's how to do an open contact.